Hi guys, it's Candace. I'm back with another little wool. This one is going to be a quick um, scrap with me. We are going to do um, junk mail envelopes. And I know I have a book page in here, but this is actually my, my scrap neutral coffee dye base stuff. So we're going to cover up some of our envelopes and make it a neutral base so we can use them for pockets or flips or whatever so this is like eight and a half which would end up being a belly band pretty much on here well we'll have to cut a little bit off but well we can do that when the time comes so let's glue the side down so we don't have any mishaps um, hope y'all are having a good day thank you welcome back and um, I'm just going to cover the, the top part off because I am, well, no, I think this one, well, no, we're going to make this a belly band. So let me just go ahead and we'll cut a little, this is up here, so eight and a half. So I'm going to cut it just at the bottom of here because I know that was just too tall for my my paper you know even though they claim it's eight and a half by the time you coffee dye it it shrinks a little bit so let's just cut a little bit off so that way it can go ahead and fit on a thing and it'll be like I said a wide belly band or you can put it in and make it a side tuck on this way or whatever you want to do with it so let me go ahead and glue this bottom shut because I'm gonna make a simple easy thing yeah, right. Okay. I'm not gonna lose I'm not gonna lose hope. Let me put my other little envelopes over here. Alright, and let me put my my test page up there or I sure I'm gonna use that as scrap and then I'll be looking for my scrap page. Alright, so let's just grab our little bin back here now that I cut. And like I said, I know these don't belong in there, but let me just move them into this other one. And then we're just going to start grabbing our neutrals and we're going to um, layer our um, envelope up so we'll have a neutral background. So that way whenever we're ready to, oh I like that dark side. So whenever we're ready to pull it out to decorate it as some washi or some, some die cuts or, or whatever that you want to do. Then it'll be all ready for you and you've already halfway made it so let's I know I'm gonna put this on here because I like how that's torn so let me just put this down on this part and then we'll ink this up I mean if you don't like to ink like I said you don't have to ink but I know everybody has a, a big old bin of of coffee dye scraps and stuff so, and I know y'all get a bunch of junk mail because <laughs> there's no way nobody gets junk mail because we get tons of it. And then, you know, then they always put those little return, you know, re no postage needed return things. Well, heck, those are good envelopes because they're usually small. So, you know, let's, let's collage them up and, and use them for bases for other things. And so we have this on there. Oh, I don't know how I worked myself into a itty bitty spot. Oh, I know how, but never mind. Don't even answer that question. Okay, this is some some dyed stuff, which I actually like this green on here, so maybe I'll put it up here so I can keep it. Oh, since this isn't even, we're going to put it up on this corner because I like that kind of little green that's on there. Like I said, Obviously some little project I did and got some some ink splatters on it. Oh my gosh. Do y'all glue like that? <laughs> Get your stuff all in the way and can't even work because oh we're we're paying, you know, push the rocks, push the rocks around. I mean you gotta push the glue, push the glue, push the glue around, push your ink around. And I know I'm way down here working in the China again. All right, and let's see what else is in here. That's kind of interesting. 
Um, let's just rip some of this off and stick it on there. I know, making more scraps, but hey, this was a big scrap. Oh, see? Am I the only one? Am I the only one? No, please don't let me be the only one that... It's all because I have this extra thing. If I only had one glue, then I wouldn't have to worry about it. I know, I know, I know. So, wait, wait, wait. Wham! Okay. Had to have my wham for the day. There you go. Wham, 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 wham. And the little piggy said, wee, 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 all the way home. Wham, wham, wham. And let's see what else is in this vast plastic bin of stuff. I need something over here. Let me see. Oh, we got some, some polka dots. That might be pretty. This is just going to be too dark. Oh, yeah. That's too dark. All right. And I saw, yep, this. So, let's put some dots down here. And then we will put some of that painter's paper on top just to give a little bit of others. And then that will be our neutral background for whenever you need something to decorate with. I mean, you know, there's some big, beautiful, fussy cut flowers that would go on there. Oh, a piece of lace, all kinds of things. Like I said, we're just going to, I'm going to start making one of those ephemera boxes like Gail has. And then I'm going to pull them bad boys out and I'll be ready. And the only reason why I'm going to put the um, this painter paper on here is because that's just too... Too even of a oh I want to cover that up oh my gosh all right see I always cause problems in my own little world all right that looks good so then I can still see I want to see that so I'm gonna put that there we're gonna make a, a painter's paper shield And then we'll glue that down. Now, see, that was an easy one. That's an easy project. Woohoo! That's because I'm not decorating it or anything. I'm just making bases. But, you know, you always need bases. And if you do some neutral ones with, you know, your leftover papers, then at least you're using that too. So, so I want to make sure I cover that and that. But I want that to show. All right, there we go. We have a scrap base that we use with our scrap neutrals that we used a junk mailer on. And I, depending on what I'm going to do with it, if, since, well, we're doing a belly band. That's right, we're, this one I got to put me sticky note. That's a belly band. So that way it'll be glued down so you have to do this. But if you want to, you know, make it and use it as a flip on your journal, then you would want to go ahead and use some more um, of your coffee dye neutral scraps and put it on the back so that way you can journal on it and then you still have this to do your decoration on. So um, hold on, I have a little ruckus going on with our little dogs. So let me go break up a fight. I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back. I'll tell you the story in a second. But here's our neutral scrap junk mail envelope that we covered that we're going to use for a belly band or a flip out just you know whenever we want to decide to do down the road so let me put that underneath my block so it can dry and then what i'm wanting to do i think i'm just going to use this just because of the size of it. this is just a regular envelope um you know so if you don't have any junk mail if you're one of the lucky few in America that does not receive junk mail there's always the Dollar Tree <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and close this up let me put my paper up before I start ripping that up and um, since this is three 
in something. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut the top off. And I, I'm going to um, put a double hole punch on here because I think what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to make it a flippy so it can flip in and out and you can pull your tag out. But I want to cover it with our scrap first. And my goal is I want to find scraps that are horizontal that fit and we're just going to start from the top and glue them this way. So, all right, our little situation over here that we have with our little doggies is Fergie, when she had broke her leg and had to, you know, live in the basement and sleep down here and all that good stuff, we had to put a big kennel in there for her. So, that's her little her little place, her little safe haven when we leave because we can't leave Fergie alone because Fergie likes to tear up stuff. Matter of fact, I left her out day for yesterday when I went down to do the dogs in the morning. I was gone one hour, you know, because by the time I leave here, you know, get, walk the driveway, get there, blah, 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 come back up here. I come back. She has tore, chewed the edge off of Jake's sleeping bag upstairs, and stuffing is out. Granted, she, you know, oops, I'm going to cover that, so I want to do up top. Granted, she didn't get far, because luckily I wasn't gone long, but we usually kennel her every time we leave because she is just, you know, she is a Border Collie slash German Shepherd mix, and she's more of the size of a Border Collie, but she looks just like a German Shepherd. She's the, the black dog. That's what I call black because she's just midnight. I mean, she is just black as black. And um, so there's a ruckus going on over there. Well, Mr. Jake decided he was going to get in her kennel. Jake has never been in a kennel. Jake does not like a kennel. But yet, I think, since there's a little bit of payback going on, uh, Jake is laying in Fergie's kennel. Well, Fergie wanted to go in her little bed because it's right there by the French doors that you can look outside. And, you know, Fergie likes to lay there and just, she, you know, I call it, she kitty cat watches and then the horses will walk by sometimes. And so, She's just, you know, she watches and does her thing. Well, Jake's in there, and Fergie wants to go in there. Well, Jake doesn't want her in there. And trust me, this kennel is an extra large kennel. You could probably put three dogs, three of our dogs in there. Nobody would have any problem. They would all lay down, and, you know, all would be good. But no. So, yeah, we had a little bit of, a little bit of power going on over there. So I had to go break that up. Oh, dogs, they're just like children. And let me tell you, that Jake, he can remember some stuff. And since I'm going to cover back here, I might just wrap this around because I'm just going to go ahead and, if it's longer, we're going to wrap it around the back because we're going to be covering that with some other paper for journaling. So let's just not worry about cutting it off. Okay. And then I want to use this for like one more below here because I want to use some of this dark stuff but I gotta find some scrap that hey that's about that size so anyway but yeah they are just sometimes they all love each other and they're I want to say that um, just laying together all sharing one little spot and everything and then the next thing you know don't touch me don't look at me ah. Oh, we're going to wrap it around, so, okay. Um, let's just do that. And it just kills me. They are something else. All right. But, yeah, you know, we're going to do one this way, and then we're going to try quickly to do one um, vertical, just so you can, you know, see how to how it looks to make an, use an, um, your, um, junk envelopes or just envelopes and if you don't have any envelopes use one of those little envelope makers or make your own little envelope and do this with it but uh, let's see mm But yeah, dinner time is an ordeal here. And see, I might have to trim that because I don't like that there. Um, 
that little miniature beagle. She's a toy beagle, they say, because she's, you know, small, but she, she round. She might be small, but she round. Um, she didn't miss no meals here. Oh, she waits until she is the last person. Everybody else eats. She sits there and she gives everybody that look. Don't come near me. Don't look at me. Don't even look at my food. And she dares them. Oh my gosh, she dares them to come near her. And a few, a few of the dogs are dumb enough to take up the dare, and she will come unglued. Oh my gosh, will she come unglued? And it, it, you know, it's sometimes quite the ordeal at feeding time. Uh, but she waits until everybody's done before she takes the first bite because she wants everybody to think that she got more than they did. Like she's been over there eating the whole time. And, oh, y'all are done. I'm just starting now. So then, of course, everybody who's done is like, hey, how come she's eating? She's still eating. She has food. Well, y'all are dumb because everybody's bowl goes down, you know. Everybody has their little, their number with the feeding game and who gets first, you know, all that good stuff. And, uh, oh, boy, that little girl, she does that. She does that at breakfast. She does it all the time. Even when they get there, I have to spell it because they know what it is. S T I C K S's. That's their every other day yummies at lunch. Oh shoot, their um, you know, treats. They don't know that word very well because we call them other things. But um, she will do that with her stuff in the in the afternoon, and wait until everybody else is done, and then start. No, I need a whole strip. And then start chewing on her little thing. And everybody, they're dumb. They fall for it. They're like, oh, well, she got something. We didn't get anything. We don't have nothing. Well, that's because your ding-dongs already ate it. But, yeah, that is our our crazy little life with those with the dogs in there. Let me see. I want the lighter stuff. And their little... snacky things <laughs> oh and then at night they get three pieces of cheese if I say that low before they go to bed and our little pity our little pit rescue she will be passed out in her bed and boy you hear that crackle of that wrapper I swear that dog must levitate and she is out there I mean she would be cold passed out I mean like been in her bed for an hour and uh, we'll come out there to get her a little piece. And I split three pieces between six dogs, you know. But they just think it's, you know, the best thing in the world. So, you know, that might be why they're a little round. But, oh, well. They take after their mommy. Life's too short not to enjoy food. <laughs> Says no doctor ever. Oh, so let me just trim that off. And then we'll ink around it. Oh, see, I don't like this wrap around thing, so X nay on that thing. I don't like how it looks because it's not even. You know how I am with symmetrical things. <laughs> it's a great thought. I see everybody else do it, but oh, nope, not for Gandas. Oh. And then little girl's back there right now snoring. I wish I could move my camera so you could see her, but she'd wake up. But man, that little girl, that oh, she can snore. You think it was a human sometimes. Okay, so that's that one. And then um, let's go ahead and put, I'm sure I have, like this might almost fit on here. Yep. And then it'll just have to leave me a little bit on the bottom. So let's tear this. And then I'll put this in my neutral scrap bin. And actually, I might be slicing this in the middle because I might want to have the green on the top and the green on the bottom and put something in the middle. Because, you know, can't do anything easy. And see, darn it, I did not cut it enough. Let's see if we can do it. Let me see if I can be quiet for a minute and, and cut this out. Let me tear it. You know, you got to hold it just right. <laughs> Yay! And see, Gail would save that for that little Cory Domin thing. 
Y'all, I don't have time. Maybe next year. <laughs> Sorry, Corey. I love your stuff, but... Oh, all right. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and tear this. And then we're going to stick another piece in the middle of it. So that way it can be some writing space. Because my scrap wasn't quite big enough. Because I wanted the green on top and bottom, you know. So, Because I'm a, a picky chooser scrap maker user. Wait, a picky chooser scrap user. There you go. A picky chooser scrap user. Alright. So I'm going to have like that and that. And then I just got to find another piece to go in the middle. That is some scrap. This is some book page. No, wrong color. Told you. It's supposed to be using up scrap. And I'm like, no, wrong color. No, too thin. Hey, that's some sack. That should be good enough. And you know you see look at that that's too that's too nice to use in there okay we're gonna use this one let's see what this looks like let's see if I can glue it get in there sideways enough all right so I'm going to cut it in between there oh y'all my BFF in Houston Missy she's a New grandmama again. Her daughter, Allie, had her first baby. Actually, she had it on July 7th, but he just got to come home two days ago because he was had something with his sugar deficiency or something. I don't know. I don't remember what. But he's the cutest little thing. So, yeah, Miss Allie, she's a mommy. Oh, my gosh. And Missy's a grandma, grandma, grandma number four. So this is her fourth one. All right, and I want to glue it so that line shows. And I think I got to trim a little more off the side because it looked a little long. All right. So yeah, so they're staying with them in their new house. She went into labor on the day they closed on the house because they just had the, uh, a house built. And, um... So she went into labor that morning at 3.30 in the morning. They closed that afternoon. You know, Missy had to hurry up and get back there to be with her in the delivery room. And, uh, yeah. Luckily, she had a C-section. Sorry, Allie. You wouldn't have made childbirth. <laughs> hey, Brat, I love you. Oh. Yeah, I said it on national everything across the whole world. I called you a brat because you're a brat. She I'm Brat Senior. She's Brat Junior. When she was younger, she'd always tell her mama, why she called me Brat? She doesn't like me. She's like, Miss Candace don't like me. And Missy's like, she's just joking with you. But oh, it, it just, it, it gets her. But hello, we had one of those tit and tat things. And so, you know, she was a brat. I mean, she was a typical teenager. You know, one of those ones you just want to strangle. She's so much better now that she's grown. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God, Allie, you outgrew it. I gotta put a little glue in here because, you know, your envelopes just always need a little bit of band-aids on them. All right. Now let's... I'm almost done with that glue stick. Let's glue these on here, and then we will call this one good. Let me see how far, how long it took me to make that one. Oh my gosh, 30 stinking minutes. Well, I did have to break up a fight and, you know, and I am a selective, a choosy picker scrap user, so that adds to it. But it shouldn't take that long, but apparently it does. <laughs> you know, I told you I don't do anything fast. Oh my gosh. But it is pretty. And like I said, you know, make a few of them up. Use your scraps. Get your little blank bases stash going. So when when something comes up and you're just not quite sure, like oh, I got a I got a neutral base for that, you have you an envelope pocket. 
envelope flip. And this wouldn't be, tw you know, this is like doing two of them because, you know, I did a front and the back. But I'm going to be flipping it. I'm going to be making me a flip pocket thing. So... Got that little vein running through there. That vein of gold. <laughs> All right. And let's see. Let me give it a minute before I try to punch it with my hole puncher. All right. And then we're going to use this one, which I don't know. It might be too wide. Ooh, it's five and a quarter. This is some state representative junk mail we got during the election stuff so we can cut some of that off we don't need it and I think that's going to be in my way all right so let me go ahead and cut this at four and seven eighths because I know that's the the widest pocket that I need for my journals. And then let me look. Because, you know, when it's in there, you're probably there. And, uh, all right, let's 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 cut it just a little bit more. Let's go four, four and three-fourths. Because I'm probably going to make it a double pocket. You know, like I said, I can't take a single pocket. Got to have two. All right, let me go ahead and... And you know, these little punchy things are designed for right-handed people. They punch better and they last longer if you punch with your stinking right hand. Otherwise, they just get stuck and don't work. Shame on America. Not everybody is right-handed. And then it gets stuck. It was too wet. Sorry. Should have warned you. <laughs> Plug your ears. Oh, but now when I do my little tag... You can, if you don't do a tag, if you want to do a journal card, which I don't know why it's sticking. But if you decide to do a journal um, card that goes in there and just have it even, then that way you can, you know, pull it out with your finger on either side. So, but, yeah. I can't wait to decorate that. That's going to be pretty with some, like, green, big green washi sticker, maybe, and a butterfly. I don't know. Let me put it over here to to dry. Okay, now that we got this, let me make sure I didn't glue any parts of it down. All right, I didn't. So, now, since we're going to be going long ways, vertical, I want to pull out my scrap words bin and use some of this up you know book page if you have nice book page you know that doesn't have any bad words and stuff but if you come around here that's all we have is is bad word stuff all right so let me I don't know if I want that white let's use some of this is some of my little France place stuff and I don't know see it's not like I'm not going to have any more, but I get so stinking stingy with this stuff. Hey, here's some words, some I'm um, writing. Let's tear that off. You can finally get rid of this page. I could tell you that's been floating around there for a while. I mean, I've torn little bits and pieces here and there off of it, but apparently not fast enough because he's still hanging around. Oh, trust me, I will make more. All right, and then here's some... No, nope, we're supposed to be going this way. Wrong direction, wrong direction. Ooh, this is a pretty, pretty one. So we'll tear this. Um, don't know. French, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Blanc, maybe it's Spanish. Maize, wheat. I don't know. Sorry, I don't write on here what they are after I start using them. Alright, oh, this is, I don't know, this is some B. So maybe we can do like this and this. But then it leaves us with that. But we can put some of this down here. We got bacon and bacteria. Great. Two words that you want to see together. 
not. Ooh, that's a little scary. Because I love bacon. <laughs> um, oh, well, let's just put him down here and this up top. There we go. Oh, my gosh, that fits just perfect. Okay. All right. And this is some astrological thing from some science space thing. See, that's white, too, but you know what? It's it's a good size, so um, he's going to get used because he's been hanging around in here, too. So let's throw them scraps back in there. Oh, and then we need the bottom because too straight. All right, let me just glue some of these on here, and I'm going to glue it this way. I don't care if you know where we live. It's not hard to figure out. Lord, you know my name. <coughs> you know the city and state I live in. And if you've been to my Etsy store, it's plaster all over there. So, <laughs> whatever. Alright. But I did have it over here. Oh, and I did have it down below. Oh, no. Come on, get over here. Oh, let me see if I can pull it off. All right. And then we're going to ink this just in case. Too much shows. That's not going to show, but let's go ahead and ink the side. You know, and then mix and match. You know, if you don't want all of your, your words and stuff, but I'm using, you know, like I said, we're using scraps. Use uh, your coffee dye in here, too, but I'm using uh, using up your dictionary and, and other book page words and stuff in our vertical scrap challenge. Because, you know, I did the other ones, the horizon, the horizon, horizontal. <laughs> Oh, all the time. That's something, you know, I, I joke that my husband says that declaration and stuff, but I always call it, um, I said, I got to go get vertical. He says, it's not vertical. You're laying down. It's horizontal. I'm like, whatever. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> it sounds much better. Let's go get vertical. <laughs> I'm going to get vertical. So I'm going to get horizon. I'm going to the horizon. I'm getting horizontal. No, let's go get vertical. That sounds much better. Don't agree with me. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you. Thank you for being my true friend. You agreed. Okay, I need to cut a little bit off the edge. I said I was going to put a little bit of this on here. So I'm going to make it more scrap. And then I just need some in here. Which I'm, I'm liking this. So let's, let me use my other tear ruler because I want a little jaggy edge, but not too jaggy. Because, you know, I'm going to be stingy with this <laughs> French word. Oh. And I kind of, I don't want that line on here. I'm going to keep it for my other column. All right, so that might just be good enough. Um, of course it's not because I have that spot right there. So let me find something else. But we're going to glue this down, and then we'll find a little bitty piece of word to go there. Maybe I can find a piece of German. I don't have German on here. I can tell you that much. Maybe I can find a piece of German. Let me look closer. No, no German. We'll put a little piece of German on there from my little antique book. My Shakespearean play. Alright, and this is going up here. So we want that there. Yep. Go ahead and gently ink this one because this is an old reader's digest. And I'm wondering, is this where... Oh, that's not Google. That's Goggle. 
<laughs> All this time I thought it said Google, but it says Goggle. So I'm like, is that where Google got their name? Did they read this story a long time ago? No, because Candace can't read. Dummy. All right. Doesn't our mind play tricks on us all the time? Oh, that's why people get dyslexia. Because they don't. Okay. Not that they don't. But it just doesn't work right. But if you go too fast and don't slow down, you sure can make some words out of what's not really there. All right. Put that on there. See how much time we have left. Oh. Ooh, 15 minutes. Okay. On my hour long video, <laughs> I'm using up scraps. Oh my gosh. Not funny. It's so sad. All right. Let me go ahead and ink on here. And then I'll jump right over there and get my little German words book to put. Well, yeah, I just don't like that edge. Let me get a little piece of German. It might not even be worth this trip over here. But I'm sure taking a trip. Oh, to get my old book. All right, let me get. Oh, I guess I need to tear another piece because oh, I've hidden my Ziploc bags with my German words. Oh my gosh. I got to find that because I used it in something else. So let me just tear a little piece of this off. Put this back in my old book. And then we will have this neutral page done. Yeah, I don't dare try to use glue stick on the back of this. It'll rip right in half. Gently smush it. You smooth this glue stick up. Oops. Okay, so my long strips turned into long strips, and I got a spot right there dug on it. To long strips and, and things so uh, obviously I failed my challenge because it was all supposed to be just long things no I didn't listen to myself bad Candace bad 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 all right let's put this little piece of German words in there too since oh, I slid that down too far All right. All right, let me turn it over and smush it down good. Whoops. Okay, got a little got a little out of hand. But that's going to be a pocket and I don't know. Let me see. The last we did a flippy with the blue thing, so it wouldn't hurt to put this. But maybe I want to put this in the. See, that's the problem is you, you know, you can't really plan ahead unless you got the, the journals there. <laughs> At least my head doesn't work that way. Making that ephemera box. Okay, so we're going to put a thummy hole thing there, and let's put this down and see what kind of, I still have this, but I'm kind of wanting maybe to put just, I know this isn't even scrap, but this will go with either my blue 
or Faded Roses thing of journal. And this is Janie B. Journals Mystery 2. So um, let me just go ahead and cut this. And we will... You know, it's pink. There it is. Uh, that's because I didn't put this back in this bucket. All right. So let's cut it right here. And we're just going to put this whole piece on the back so that way... Wait, I said I was making a pocket, right? Oh, I don't need that. I'm bad. Okay, so forget that one. But, um... I think I'm going to put a piece in here anyway. Um, let's do this side. So that way it has a little more. You won't see what's behind it. I'm going to have to make me a note that says, This is a pocket. Well, I guess when I put the little thumb holes on there, I'll know that this is a pocket. <laughs> says the robot. The robot to Candace. This is a pocket. Oh. Y'all, I told you it is dangerous. Okay. Let's make sure it's going to fit in there before I try to glue it in there. Yes. Yes. Okay. So. Alright, this should be interesting. How this is going to fight with me. But let's think positive. Think positive. Think positive. Hey, did I whine today? Wah, 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 just in case. I think I did on the early one before I had to stop it. But just in case I didn't do any wah, wah. There you go. There's my whine. Oh, crap. See, I spoke too soon. I might be whining some more. Oh. Alright. Hey, something bad's gonna happen. That work went too, too seamlessly. Shh, don't say that. All right, now let me get my big old hole punch. I don't know how big this is, but we'll measure real quick. This is a three-inch hole punch because I want a, a good size on the side so we can get a card in and out. And then we'll ink around that. And that is our little project. So that's using some book page and dictionary, whoop, um, scrap pages, and a junk envelope, envelope that came in the mail to make a neutral base. So that way you can use it as a pocket on your um, whatever. I don't know why I can't. Journal pages. And um, this will, you know, pretty much cover the whole thing. So if you, you know, like glue it down here or in the middle, you can put a tag back here if you want a big tag or one of the big journal cards that I always do. Um, like, well, that's not big enough. But anyway, and then give yourself a side tuck pocket. And then if you glue it down, you could make a, a, a double side tuck pocket, but I'm kind of liking the idea of putting this on here. Obviously a big, where's one of my big cards? Let's see if that'll fit. Uh, no. But anyway, um, <laughs> scrap that. So, but that's the whole plan. We're going to make another um, tag. It's going to be a big tag or journal card with some ruffles or something on there. And then this we'll make a journal card to go in there once we get it in whatever card that we're journal that we're putting in so there you go um you had our horizontal scrap um we're going to make it a, this one's going to be a flip out like i said when you put it on your page depending on what we do we're going to put um, probably fabric muslin hinge on here so it can flip out and then we'll put a make a journal uh, tag for in there and then this one it's going to be used for a large tuck pocket and we'll probably we'll make a large tag to go up there and then a tag to go in there and so 
there you go. Um, I hope this helped you. I'm sure I confuse you more than I help anybody because I sure confuse myself. Hey, that looks like a glass. You know how they put different kinds of beans and rice in there? <laughs> That's what I just saw. So anyway, um, thanks for sharing your day with me. Thanks for putting up with me again. Thanks for um, watching this video. And I hope it helps you use some of your scraps up. So there's that side too, just in case you want to see. But um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a blessed day and thanks for everything. Bye guys.